In today's video, I'm going to share what I believe is the most important skill that separates crypto amateurs from pros. And I'll share three strategies to get you jump started on that skill to further your own research. And that skill is on chain analysis. On chain analysis can show you what smart money is buying in crypto, where money is flowing onto exchanges, off exchanges, or which chains it's going to, and much, much more. Welcome back to Dynamo DeFi. Although I'll talk about several cryptos in this video, this isn't a suggestion that you do or do not buy any of them. This is a video about how to do your own research. Now, let's get into it. The first on chain analysis strategy that I like to use is to find a coin that went up a lot recently, find whales for that coin, and then look at what else they're holding or what they've been buying recently, because those are people who have a proven history of making a call correctly. I'll show you what I mean. Take the coin Quenta, for example. Quenta has gone up a lot since the start of the year. It was around $120 earlier this year. And then even after this pullback, it's still at almost $600. This is a perp dex on the Optimism network. So if we go to the Optimism Blockchain Explorer, then we can search for the Quenta token. By the way, any Blockchain Explorer, you just type in the name of a token up here in the search bar and it will bring you to that tokens page. And then what we want to do is we want to find the largest holders of the token. So you can go to this holders tab right here. And what this is going to do is it's going to show you all the largest holders of the Quenta token. And because Quenta is on optimism, like I said before, we're using the optimism blockchain explorer. And now first thing that's important to know is that any of these ones that have a paper next to them, that is a contract. So that's not actually an individual. That's a smart contract that people have deposited Quenta into. So that doesn't count. Uh, these ones that are not a smart contract, that's what we're looking for. And what we want when we look at these, we want to first off find one that is not, for example, you know, the treasury of, of Quenta Protocol. I'm not saying any of these is, but if you did find that, for example, that wouldn't really be what you were looking for. Uh, we want to find one that seems to be an individual from what we can tell. And we also want to make sure that that individual purchased Quenta before it pumped, right? We're not looking for someone who purchased up here. We want someone who was buying over here because that means that they made a very good call. And then we want to see, well, what else is that person holding or what else did they buy? And because it takes a little bit of time of testing different wallets, we're not going to go through all of these now, but looking at it ahead of time, I did find that this wallet, which is rank 11 and is actually the rank one, two, three, four, five, the fifth largest individual wallet, this one is actually fits those criteria. And this individual has 0.07% of the Quenta supply. So you can click on the wallet here and, and see the information right in the blockchain explorer. But what I like to do is I like to then copy and paste this address. So we'll copy it and go over here to the website known as dbank. And we're going to search for the address over on dbank. And I already did that ahead of time. And the reason why dbank is great is first off, it's much prettier visuals than the blockchain explorer. Just say that straight up. But second, it also shows you their holdings on every chain. So we can see, okay, this person's got a few hundred thousand dollars of Quenta. Quenta is a relatively low market cap. So that makes them kind of a whale still, but we can see, okay, well, this person also has $2 million on Ethereum. Isn't that interesting? And most of that is die. So this person is stabled up right now. Uh, however, they also hold a lot of, this is very interesting, NFT5 projects. They have JPEG, they have Muse. Uh, and then if we look at what else they have, they've also got some tokens deposited in X2, Y2, and FloorDAO. Uh, and so, you know, that would tell me right there, I would say, okay, this person who seems to be some kind of smart money, I would say, I don't know who this is, by the way. So if, if you happen to be watching this, then uh, thank you for letting us use your wallet. But but I'd say, okay, maybe it's worth me looking into NFT Fi because this person is in these NFT Fi projects. And then that's one way you can find narratives to investigate before they take off. That isn't enough to invest, but it is enough to say, okay, I'm going to do some more due diligence on NFT Fi. And personally, I am planning to do more due diligence on NFT Fi partially because of these findings. Or we could say, well, this person has $56,000 on ZK Sync era. It's all ETH, but uh, what does it tell us that someone like this decided that it was worth bridging what I think is a pretty substantial amount of money over to ZK Sync era? Maybe, maybe that's something that's worth checking out. Uh, and that's the first strategy that you could use to do basic on-chain analysis. And even just doing this would put you far ahead 
of most people. The second on-chain analysis strategy that I wanna to share today also involves whale wallets. If you go back to DBank, then over here on the left in the more section, you'll see this button to select whales. And what this does is this is gonna show you every wallet that DBank tracks that is over a million dollars portfolio value. So this is thousands of wallets ranging from a million dollars all the way up to $3 billion. And what you wanna do with this, the first way I would use it is I would find a wallet that fits the profile of the types of coins you're interested in. So imagine you're into Ethereum DeFi. What you'd wanna do is you'd wanna find a large wallet, say it's in the hundreds of millions or billions, more likely it's gonna be in the hundreds or tens of millions. You find a wallet that is an active user of Ethereum DeFi that has hundreds of millions of dollars. And the logic behind this is if someone is has that big of a crypto account, chances are they're an insider of some form, right? Even if you don't know who the wallet is, you can guess they probably have some sorts of connections within the crypto ecosystem. And so what you wanna do is you wanna find a wallet that fits that profile and then you wanna look at what they're buying now. And just like we did with this other wallet, you add that to a research list and then you do your own research on these coins. But this is a great starting point to filter out some of the noise and get the signal of which coins are worth looking at. Another strategy you can do, and you can do this with any wallet, even you know one that is say worth billions of dollars, is you can look at when are they buying and selling, right? You know, maybe you are an expert trader, you can time the market perfectly, but chances are that whoever's managing this treasury of two billion or three billion dollars is probably better than most of you. I would say better than me, definitely at, at timing the market, right? That's why they are managing $3 billion. And so I, so that could be a good way to get a hint for when it's time to start selling. The third on-chain analysis strategy that I wanna share today is how to track inflows and outflows from exchanges. Now this is really important and you probably see this mentioned in crypto media a lot if you follow crypto news. But basically this is tracking whether people are sending money to exchanges or away from exchanges. And the kind of inverse thing about this is that the thing that you might think is good, which is money flowing into exchanges, is actually usually bad. And why is that? When you see inflows to exchanges, what it usually means is that investors, and particularly big investors, so say funds, money managers, etc., are preparing to sell. And the reason for this is, think about this, when the market is low, people are accumulating or it's on its way up, then what's happening is these money managers, these funds, these whales, they're sending money to exchanges and then they are buying crypto and then they're withdrawing it to cold storage because that's more secure. And then when they think the market is starting to top, what they're doing is they're sending that crypto back to exchanges to sell and cash out and withdraw to their bank account. So if you see a lot of money being sent into exchanges, then it can be a sign that people are starting to cash out. There are, of course, other situations like we saw with FTX where inflows and outflows could mean other things like people were not confident in the future of an exchange. But generally, what it means is that investors are starting to cash out if they're sending money to exchanges. And there's a lot of different dashboards that you can do this, um, but... One of the most powerful free ones that I want to reference is DeFi Llama. And part of that is because we reference that dashboard all the time on this channel. DeFi Llama has a ton of useful free dashboards with crypto fundamentals. And they've got one for centralized exchanges too. So we can see, for example, that money has been flowing into Binance recently. And, you know, I, I, this is, probably isn't so substantial that it's time to panic, but that is something that's worth monitoring if you're suddenly seeing a lot of money flowing into exchanges especially if it's coupled with a spike in price then that can be a sign that investors are cashing out and if you want to learn more about on-chain analysis and other topics then admissions are currently open this week only for the second cohort of a course i run known as double your DeFi. i'm partnered with another content creator known as the DeFi edge she's actually much larger than me and basically this is a five week intensive course where he and I condensed everything we know about crypto and DeFi into one month. So in the month of May, we have something pretty much every weekday, whether that's a lecture on how to discover new gems and protocols early. We have eight lectures in total to live research sessions that we have every week where you sit and watch me over the shoulder, conduct research, 
to guest interviews, to Q and A sessions. And then we also throughout all of this have a discord running where you can discuss your research and continue to learn more about DeFi. Uh, I will say we didn't hold anything back when we were building this. We put pretty much everything that we know about research and cryptos into these presentations and will all be live so you can ask questions as we are sh talking about these topics. And then on top of all this, we also have some bonus giveaways with the course, such as a trading journal, a whale wallet list, and a list of Twitter alpha accounts. If you're interested, check out the link in the description to learn more. And that's all for today. If you want more content like this, be sure to like and subscribe. And until next time, this is Dynamo DeFi.